Hey everybody, welcome back to another Create tutorial. Today we're going to be going over some updates to the assistant tools within Krita. It's just a minor update, but I, I think it has a pretty big impact on workflow, so we're going to go over that. If you don't know what the assistant tools are, they're actually right under the gradient tool next to the measurement and reference image um, tool here. If you click on that, go to tool options, you can see you have multiple choices here. And what these all do is just make it easier to make pers uh, perspective in your illustrations. Um, in the infinite ruler, for example, you can just keep going the parallel ruler to make par parallel lines on your illustration or whatever it is you're doing. And it's consistent versus, you know, if I just keep making lines like this, you know, they're not exactly straight and they're not exactly at the same angle. So they just make life a little easier in terms of consistency and great reference for perspective. We're going to use the infinite ruler just to make things easy. I do have a um, bunch of videos for each individual tool option there. You can go check those out if you would like to see more of a breakdown on those. So we now have our infinite ruler that we just made. You can see here we have an updated graphic interface here. I will put a screenshot of what the old one looks like just for reference because if you're like me and you update Krita, you totally don't remember how it used to be the second you use the new version. So one of the bigger, big things I noticed right off the bat from just activating this was I could move this whole panel and you couldn't do that before. At least not, yeah, you couldn't do that before at all. And this is a big deal to me because when you have multiple, um, let's see, I'll even put a fisheye point in here. We'll just go crazy with these assistant tools. When you're doing heavy illustration or perspective work or whatever it is, and you're using a lot of them, they can get kind of messy. You know, this these little icon or um, panels here that you use to control and edit and everything else for the assistant tool, if they overlap or they're too close, it can get kind of annoying. So having this movable is very nice because then I can say, all right, this is for my fisheye tool. I'm going to put that up here and all my infinite rulers will be down here at the bottom points so I can give myself a visual reference of what goes where. Another thing I liked was the trash can icon. It did have a delete icon before. There was a circle with a line through it. It just wasn't as visually like, oh, that's how you delete it, you know, and you don't want to go and delete everything either. So the fact that it is now a trash icon is very, very nice. So this arrow key is the same as before, where you could click on it and move the actual um, assistant tool that you made. So this only moves the fisheye point. I'm actually going to delete that just because it's kind of taken up a lot of space. And I'm going to move some of these around just to, you know, that looks cool. And there's no reason, reason to make it look cool, I'm just saying. It just looks neat. <laughs> so another thing that I did notice was besides the eye icon actually, you know, it does what it did before, which was visibility, we have a lock button. This was a big deal to me because I often would use the assistant tools and accidentally move the tool and then just hope for the best that I put it back in the right spot or I would hit undo. So by locking it, I no longer accidentally move it, so the actual move button won't work, but I can still move the other ones. Now this is it's just very, very nice. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So you go back to your brush, go snap to assistance, or use a color that we can actually see. So you can see here, like in my lines, here's the sensitivity where it can give you weird strokes sometimes. Just, but overall, this is pretty nice. So, yeah, I was very pleased with the update to the assistant tool options here. And if you want to delete individually, you can do that. You can delete them all. You can still change the colors and stuff like that, um, like you could before. Um, everything else is pretty much the same that I noticed. Alright, so that's it for the update to Creative 5.2 for the assistant tools. Um, if you haven't checked them out at all, make sure you do. I do have videos, like I said, outlining each assistant tool and what they do, what they look like, and all that good stuff. 
So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I'll do my best to get back to you, and I will see you in the next video.